it's really about speed all the time in, in terms of hurling. I think the faster you can play hurling, the more successful you're going to be. There's been various different influences throughout my life. My own mother, she's from a Tipperary background. She would have always had a huge interest in hurling. Mum would have brought me out to College St. Joseph's to start the hurling training with Joe Kane and Henry Cox. And uh, it kind of just developed from there. Growing up in Sligo, I, I lived in a housing estate originally, and a lot of the boys would have played soccer and Gaelic football, not so much hurling. I was the only one playing hurling on, on my road, um, just constantly poking the ball off the wall. And in terms of hurling, it was, it was made for it, you know. Um, when you're hurling against the wall, you can poke the ball off the wall for hours and it'll come back to you. Compare that to a training session where you're just out training for an hour, the coach is blowing the whistle, you're starting, you're stopping. So in terms of developing skill and the moves of the game, growing up on the street for me was really important. Harlan wouldn't have a traditional background in Sligo, but it's absolutely, there's no reason why a player can't be as good as a player from Kilkenny. The first time I put on a Sligo jersey was in 2003. I was just turned 15 years old. It was a league semi-final against Tyrone in Markwich Park. I was slightly nervous, but at the same time I was confident because all of the practice I had done as a young fella, playing on the street, I developed the strength and the skill, like hopping up on walls, running after the ball, things like that. They develop strengths and skills that you can't really get elsewhere. So I felt I was ready. Playing hurling has many benefits. I suppose not only does it keep you fit and healthy, but it teaches you how to commit to something. It teaches you how to work as part of a team, and it also teaches you how to develop different skills and qualities such as discipline, work ethic, timekeeping and resilience. And I suppose as you move through life and you, you grow into adulthood, these qualities are things that can help you through tough times of life. The huge bonus is obviously developing lifelong friends through the sport. As any player knows, I suppose, it's the time that you put into playing inter-county hurling, which is probably the toughest part. At the minute, it's between four and six days a week for ourselves, and it's a huge commitment for players, especially after coming in from a long day at work or something like that. But what really drives us on, I suppose, is the, is the dream of that one performance in Crow Park, which could lead to a, a huge win for us, you know, that's what really gets you out the front door. I developed a very strong side to my game, a strong mental side to my game because I'd believe that hurling isn't all skill, it's not all physical. I'd safely say that hurling could be 50-60% mental. It crossed my mind this year I suppose that hurling now seems to be a cool thing to do within Sligo. For example, we have four or five lads doing their leaving cert in Summerhill College and at the same time coming out training hard with us with the senior Sligo hurling team. And they're putting in a huge effort both in their studies and with their sport and they're, they're hugely respected for that within their school community. I believe there's an awful lot of work being done at underage level both in the clubs and at underage county development squads. However, I, I think we really need to win a trophy at national level with the county team in order to really lift these hurling people of Sligo. It would really mean an awful lot to all those coaches and all those people who have dedicated so many hours on the training pitch to develop these players who are playing with us this year with Sligo and maybe go ahead and, and lift a trophy in, in a big stadium. It would really give the whole uh, sport a lift in Sligo, you know. The community, it is small but it is strong and, and, and there's some very passionate people here in Sligo. We won the Nicky Racker Cup in 2008 in Crow Park and as a young boy growing up that's all I wanted to do was play hurling in Crow Park. And the celebrations after, it just meant so much to the hurling people of Sligo. So for young players interested in becoming a hurler, I would suggest, number one, start training wisely and train to be the best. Don't just go out and train every day because this is the difference when it comes to winning or losing. It's either you or it's him. Number two, watch videos, go to games and study the best players out there. Study their training methods, study their diets and how they play. 
And number three, carry yourself with pride, look after your body, look after your diet, and obviously you need to spend an awful lot of time pucking the ball against the wall. To be honest, a lot of people would have said I have a, a talent for hurling, but I disagree in a sense. I developed that talent through hard work and just hours spent in front of the wall at home practicing, um, hour after hour, ball after ball, you know.